24 hours, I'll blow your budget away! <laughs> the battle has just begun! Hello, and welcome to the Robotnik is sexy show. This is going to be a super sexy time with your super sexy host, Mr. Robotnik is sexy. And as you'll notice, this is a Wi-Fi battle. And this isn't just any Wi-Fi battle. This is a Wi-Fi battle I had with Red Shiner using my mono grass team. So, pretty cool. Uh, he didn't have a mono type team um, of his own, so I'm just going to wing it with mono grass and see how it goes. So, first turn, he is afraid of my Breloom. But I am also afraid of him, because I have no real way of knowing if he's Scarf or not, even though most are Leftovers or Chester Berry right now. So we're both going to switch out. And turn two, we have different Pokemon out. He goes for Will-O-Wisp, I go for Stealth Rock. Uh, Stealth Rock is going to help me a bit, um, because a lot of switching around is going to happen later on. So that's cool. Basically... More often than not, what Ferrothorn does is he gets up Stealth Rocks and then he kills someone with recoil damage, and that's pretty much his lot in life. Now he goes into the uh, Fortress here. We both switch out at the same time again. Um, this time I'm not sure if I was predicting anything or not, but this works out just fine for me because I can go for Ghost Curse and pretty much just whittle down this Fortress and also prevent him from rapid spinning. So what he's going to do is he's going to set up some spikes knowing that all of my team is grounded and I'm just going to have to switch into them and deal with them sooner or later. So that's kind of fine, but you know, I'm completely fine with that as well since I can get up a free sub and just completely kill him with Ghost Curse. And the uh, Shadow Force thing, I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, so Ghost Curse, um, also, um, I should mention that he hasn't used Volt Switch yet. I was really, really afraid of him using Volt Switch, um, like, right after he cursed me, but he makes the decision to stand and use Spikes. He does show Volt Switch here, uh, on the turn I go for Phantom Force. And Phantom Force, along with Protect and Curse, I just really like it. I really, really like it. So basically, any monotype team that allows me to exploit or use my Ghost Curse Trevenant, I'm, I'm gonna be there. So pretty much Mono Ghost and Mono Grass are my go-to places. Now Heatran comes out. I'm kind of expecting the roar, honestly, but he goes for a Lava Plume instead, which surprised me, to be honest. So either way, if he had gone roar, it probably would have worked out the same. Like, I would have used Curse and eaten the Citrus Berry and everything would have just been fine. So, I'm gonna curse this Heatran because Heatran is obviously a large obstacle for a Mono Grass team, even though I do carry Breloom. Heatran is a bulky man, and if I can whittle him down a little bit, like down to half or so, then I will be certain that. A jolly Technician Life Orb Mach Punch will do the trick. Now I'm going to go for Protect, uh, now being sure in the fact that he is not going to use Roar anytime soon. And he uh, pretty much reveals that in going for Toxic. And this is where things get a little interesting. He's going to predict me to switch out into Venusaur and he's going to go for Lava Plume. Which is pretty slick. Uh, he's going to make some pretty cool moves. Uh, as you see, the Lava Plume does an absurdly huge amount of damage to regular Venusaur. So that kind of sucks. And then afterwards, he's going to make a puzzling play of not staying in to finish me off. He's going to switch out. Maybe he did this because he didn't want to die to curse damage, which I guess I can understand because I do have Stealth Rocks up. So if he had stayed in for one more turn, he would have been dead to rocks. And I would have been pretty much fine with that. That would have been, like, a really solid trade. Because I'm fine with that. Because if he trans out of the way, I've got no problems. But he's going to switch out, perhaps, to preserve his health. I maybe will never know. That's just my guesstimate. This allows me to get a synthesis, or use synthesis, I should say. And all that HP is back, and that is delicious. That is wonderful. But I have to face down his own Trevenant which is named Grim, which is a cool nickname. I'm gonna go for the Sludge Bomb, I'm gonna roll and hope for a, a, a poison 
status because there's a 30 percent chance of that happening i don't get it which is unfortunate because with leftovers that's going to be a three hit kill with sludge bomb and pretty sure he's not not just going to stay in and you know allow me to hit him with sludge bombs he's going to stay in an extra turn however just to get some more burn damage on me and this is uh this is a nice move on his part like because tronet can run like four really good sets which really sets him apart from uh, Gorgeist, which makes Trevenant harder to deal with because you don't really know what it's going to use. Uh, sometimes Trevenant carry Protect, a lot of times they don't carry Protect. It's some something you can't really know until they use it, which is a really good element that Trevenant has to play with. Uh, after using Protect, he's going to switch into his Steel-type Heatran to absorb the Sludge Bomb, and now the Curse isn't there anymore, so he is going to steadily regain health with Leftovers, which isn't exactly great. Look how well I take that Lava Plume compared to how uh, Regalu Venusaur took it. That is crazy bread time. Crazy bread. It's, that's... That's, uh... Get that with the side order of pizza. Some crazy bread. So I'm going to synthesis up again. Uh, again, he's not really showing me Roar, so I don't think he has it. He's going to go for Protect uh, to stall out my burn. Pretty dumb move staying in here. Because he's already... Uh, has he shown me the Protect before with Heatran? I'm not sure he has, so maybe I just didn't know. So, I don't know. I want to go for Leech Seed, and now I know he's going to switch out, so I'm going to make the right move and go for Sludge Bomb, and this time I'm going to get that 30% Poison on Espeon, which is absolutely fine, because it's going to help me whittle down Espeon, because uh, believe it or not, as much as I like to rip on Espeon for kind of being like bottom of the barrel OU-wise, he's really, really easy to deal with. I'm not even sure he's OU, come to think of it, but I like to... I like to uh, tease him for being easy to deal with, but Espeon versus my Mono Grass team is not exactly something I want to deal with because it's likely that he carries uh, Shadow Ball, and I have two Ghost types, and Mega Venusaur, of course, cannot really deal with Psyshock, especially at that l low range of health. I'm going to decide to let Venusaur become Death Fodder, and that gives me a nice switch into Ludicolo. I'm gonna, gonna hope that Ludicolo can take a single hit, and he does. I get up the Rain Dance as he dies, so that gives me four solid turns to attack whatever I want with Hydro Pump, Giga Drain, or Blizzard. Uh, this is, of course, my uh, custom set Ludicolo with Wide Lens and Blizzard and Hydro Pump, so that I can land those inaccurate moves more often than not, so. I am going to go for the Blizzard, it is going to hit, and it's gonna look badass as hell. Um, doesn't really do that much to Rotom. I shoulda, 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 shoulda gone for Hydro Pump here because it was the best play. Because it just was. But I don't. I go for Giga Drain because the, just, the, uh, it's too tempting for my little brain. Too tempting. Uh, that big, juicy, succulent Rotom just sitting out in the open. I just really want to Giga Drain it and kill it. He switches into Grim though instead, he's gonna protect, he's just stalling out my rain, which is kind of fine by me. And I'm going to overpredict this turn a little bit and go for Gator Rain, which uh, again, I probably should have gone for Hydro Pump instead. I thought he would want to switch back out into Rotom, like predicting me to use Hydro Pump or Blizzard again, but he just stays in, which is the right play. As he goes for Fanta Force, and that is an interesting um option because that means you have sentenced yourself to a spiny death thanks to um, Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet on Ferrothorn. Yeah, so foreshadowing, yeah, getting up Stealth Rock and killing something with um, the uh, recoiled stuff. That yeah, That is something that happens a lot and that's why I love Ferrothorn to pieces, so yeah. Goodbye Grim. Uh, the combination of both recoil elements is going to take him down, which is fantastic. I love it. I really, really enjoy using it, which is another reason Monograss was the first um, team I jumped to, um, because I just like using Ferrothorn. So Heatrans are going to come in. 
I'm just gonna let uh, Ferrothorn die so I can um, promote something else, and that's perfectly fine. So he's gonna blow me up with Lava Plume, which, by the way, looks sick in this game. It looks really, really cool. It looks like the strongest fire attack in the game. And it is one of the strongest fire attacks in the game, especially considering how they weakened Flamethrower and Fire Blast, and Lava Plume stayed the same. Like, it's 80 power with a 30% chance of burning. But yeah, allowing Ferrothorn to die is, of course, going to allow me to set up my main hitter, which is Breloom. Go for the Mach Punches, he doesn't really have much to take it. I mean, if he switched into a Mach Punch with anyone else, he would not appreciate it at all. Uh, the only Pokemon he has left right now is Trakion and Rotom Wash, so definitely don't want to switch into Mach Punches in that scenario, so... He is going to, uh, promote this Trakion guy, the big, scary, legendary, shiny Trakion, and I'm just gonna switch into a close combat, and I'm gonna frisk him in the process, and the frisk is going to show me the choice band, which means he's locked into close combat, and then he's going to run, which is 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 uh, is, is a commendable play. I probably would have ran as well because I don't know. It still counts as a win. Um, had the match gone on, I would have just clicked on Seed Bomb over and over because that would have been cool. But that that is my Monograss battle against Red Shiner. If you enjoyed it, please remember to comment, to like, and sub subscribe. Stoops, it helps me get noticed and all that bullshit, and I will see you later, YouTube.